So weighted blankets are a big trendy item right now, supposed to relieve stress, anxiety, and sleepless nights. It seems like every few weeks a new one pops up in one of our clients' homes. It started with one home, and now it's like 10 of our clients that own one. But like anything else, after a while, it's gonna start to get stinky, nasty, and it's gonna need to be washed. But how in the world do you wash a 20 pound blanket? Well my friends, I've got you covered because in today's video I'm gonna teach you how to clean your weighted blanket with confidence. Now I just want to clarify, this video is not about how to wash a duvet cover. If your weighted blanket came with a duvet cover, you simply pull it off and you wash it like you would any other cover that comes with a blanket, right, or a bedspread. This video is all about how to wash the actual weighted blanket itself. First off, you need to know what is inside your weighted blanket. What gives it its weight? What is it filled with? The good news is the blankets that are filled with the glass microbeads and the polyplastic pelts are machine washable and the majority of the blankets you purchase from the store will be filled with those fillings. Some of the other fillings not as common are the steel shot beads. If your blanket contains the steel shot beads, you can't machine wash it because those beads are very heavy and if you're too rough with the blanket, and I realize washers have gentle cycles, but still, those beads are very heavy, and if you're too rough with the blanket, they can very easily rip the fabric. Which in that case, the only option you would have would be to hand wash your blanket. Some other fillings, and if your blanket contains these, then just forget about washing it altogether. Organic materials, so things like sand, corn, rice. If your blanket contains those things, you can't wash it. You run the risk of mold, yeast, bacteria, insect infestation, right? These are your DIYers, and they do this stuff to keep costs low, and they're the ultimate DIYers, mind you. Can you imagine having a blanket filled with rice? So, if you have a corn blanket or a rice blanket, just, I guess, uh, enjoy the all natural. Another feeling you might come across that you can't wash, smooth, small pebbles. Which begs the question, do you really want to sleep under rocks? Once you've determined what's inside your weighted blanket, assuming it's machine washable, you need to check how much of a load your washing machine can take. This is referred to as your washing machine's washing capacity. If you have a top load washer, it's typically around 12 pounds. If you have a front load washer, they're typically around 15 to 18 pounds. Even if your washer can take 15 pounds, that's its max. So if you have a 15 pound blanket and you're having to max out your machine's capacity, I would recommend taking it to a laundromat and washing it in a commercial size washing machine to spare your home machine from the wear and tear. If you have an 18 pound capacity and like a 10 pound blanket, then you're good. Go ahead and wash it at home. When it comes to washing the blanket, it's pretty simple. You're gonna wash it on a gentle cycle with cold water and a mild detergent. Avoid bleach, avoid fabric softeners, and avoid harsh chemicals. If there's any stains on the blanket, you can pre-treat those beforehand. Just spray a bleach-free stain remover on the stain and then scrub it with your fingers or a toothbrush. If it's a really greasy stain, maybe you've been eating some pepperoni pizza in the bedroom. Instead of using the stain remover, just pre-treat it with some Dawn dish soap and then scrub it with your toothbrush. Before we move on to the actual drying process, I will say that for the in-between maintenance, I recommend using a duvet cover. If for whatever reason your blanket didn't come with one, I will leave one listed and linked down below for you. A good high quality cover that you can count on and you can check it out. Along with the duvet cover, I would say just spot clean as needed with your uh, dish soap toothbrush solution. You should be good to go. Drying. So drying is not that hard since glass and plastic pelts don't really absorb water. You have two options. Number one, you can put it in the dryer and dry it on a low heat cycle. Or number two, dry it on a large, clean, flat surface. Just spread your blanket out, lay it down, and then just flip it every 30 minutes or so as needed. You never want to try to dry it vertically like you would regular blankets or clothes because what can happen is the beads can bunch up inside and then mess up your weight distribution. And along the way, if you have any questions whatsoever, you can always check the product care label listed on the blanket itself. So that is it my friends, how to wash your weighted blanket. Thanks so much for checking out the video. If you liked it, give it a big claim of confidence. Thumbs up, it really helps us out. And if you want to take our relationship to the next level, drop me a comment down below and share with me your experience with the weighted blanket. How is it, you know? Do you have less anxiety, less stress? Do you sleep better? Does it hurt your back? Let me know down below. 
Also, if you want to support the channel, you can do so by watching another one of our videos. If you like this one, you might like the one to my left entitled, How to Wash an Electric Blanket. And if you've ever wanted to understand the science and the chemistry behind what makes cleaning products work, what makes them special, then you might enjoy the video series I did on my right here entitled, Understanding Cleaning Chemicals. So until next time, my friends, implement the steps I have outlined in this video with your weighted blanket and you will be well on your way to becoming the domesticated cleaning savage that I know you are. But you better stop believing this power and this product to decrease and devour. A 90 minute job just turn into an hour.